New security concerns at Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard in Hawaii today after a U.S. sailor killed two civilian workers before killing himself. The motive is still unclear today and the military is not identifying the gunman involved. The shooting happened across the harbor from the memorial where the attack on Pearl Harbor happened and it raises security concerns as we prepare to mark the 78th anniversary in just two days. Now DBL Nation, I'll be sure to keep you updated on this developing story. The vaping crisis has taken a new turn today as doctors just discovered another way vaping is damaging the lungs. Now a 49-year-old California woman had shortness of breath, coughing, and wheezing after consistently vaping THC. Her lung tissue showed she had metals in her lungs like nickel, aluminum, and lead. Now doctors think the metals found in the e-liquid went into the lungs because the heating coil in the vape pen was too hot and now they say her lung damage is likely permanent. DBL Nation, if you vape, does this latest update make you want to stop? Does it scare you at all? Let me know using the hashtag DBLTake. This has been Fast Blast for you. Make sure you tune in this afternoon for Raquel Villanueva's Entertainment Edition. Bye now. Did the president commit high crimes and misdemeanors during that phone call with Ukraine's president? Let's connect the dots. The Constitution lays out reasons to impeach a president. You often hear the phrase high crimes and misdemeanors, but it's part of a longer phrase, which is treason, bribes, or high crimes and misdemeanors. There's a long-standing debate about what the founders meant by that phrase, and it's a debate a House committee is focusing on this week. But most constitutional experts say it doesn't necessarily refer to actual criminal activity. After all, Congress isn't in the business of deciding criminality. That's what the courts do. Instead, the high crimes phrase refers to a more general idea of significant misconduct or abuse of power. It matters because you've heard a lot of the president's supporters concede the Ukraine phone call wasn't good, but they say it wasn't criminal. Democrats argue it doesn't have to be. A good reminder, an impeachment is a political process and not a criminal one. And that is Connecting the Dots.